Welcome dear students to week 3. In this week we will start with chapter 8. Chapter 8 start talking about cell and uh, the component of cell, cell structure and function and each function for each organelle inside the cell. First of all, it's, this, is, this one we will start with chapter 8. In this chapter we will start with life as a cellular uh, as a cellular uh, structure, we will talk about the discovery of the cell, how they uh, discovered the early microscopes and the, the component of, of the microscopes. Then we will go through the cell theory and uh, and uh, what is the main thing about exploring the cells, how do they explore it using the light microscope, then going to the electron microscopes. After that, how they uh, become more adult, more uh, advanced and how they can see under the light microscope the microorganisms and discover the, uh, cellular, uh, the cellular component for each one. After this one, we will go through to, uh, to go through the two types of cell, which is the prokaryotic cells and the eukaryotic cells. We will go through also the difference between um, prokaryotic cells as individual having the cell membrane, cell wall, and the organelle inside it. Then we will go to the eukaryotic cells. Eukaryotic cells, it can be divided into animal cells and the plant cell. Then we will go about the anatomy for each one of them. This is the introduction for chapter 8, which is the what is cellular. Then we will go to 8.2, which is the cell structure. Cell structure, we will talk about and explain the role of the cell in nucleus, why it is important, what is contained from the inside. It's contained the genetic information that decide, decide all of the uh, uh, genetics composition for each type for organism, whether we are talking about a plant cell, animal cell, or even if we are talking about human cells. After that, we will to identify the cellular structure that make and transport protein and other macromolecules. Now, inside each one of this uh, of this. Uh, organelle we have uh, of this cells we have organelle these organelle are different we have some organelle that are uh, found can be can be found between in prokaryote and eukaryote or between animal and plant cells other you can find in plant cell not in uh, animal cell or vice versa which is mean which mean that we can see it in the uh, animal cell but we cannot see it in the plant cell, we need to discover the importance of the nucleus, and then we will talk about the, the organelle that built the protein, starting with the ribosomes, what's the ribosomes, uh, and why they are important to produce protein, and then the endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum, it's one important organelle that we can, that we will discuss later, that it's important for uh, having, if it's uh, if it contains the ribosomes in their external structure, it will be called as a rough endoplasmic reticulum. Or if it's uh, without the ribosomes in their external uh, wall, then it is what it's called only a, a smooth endoplasmic reticulum. In this, this we will talk about the process of producing protein from going out from the nucleus to the it's a cytoplasm from the cytoplasm back to the out of the cells, going through to uh, to the uh, uh, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, then to the rough endoplasmic reticulum. After that, the Golgi apparatus from the Golgi apparatus out out of the cell membrane. When, uh, then we said that nucleus is the control most cell process, and that it's important because it contains what the uh, uh, the genetic information. It contains all of the cells DNA that. Uh, coded the instruction for making protein and other important molecules. As you can see, this is the structure. Then uh, this protein carry out all, uh, carry out so many of the essential function of the living things, include the synthesis of the macromolecules such as lipid, uh, such as lipid and uh, Uh, such as lipid and carbohydrate, and this is the big part of the cells that develop to produce and distribute. This this large picture show you the two sides. This one, as you can see, the two sides of the cell structure. As you can see, the protein in the three steps in and out of the cell. How do they make protein? Uh, we need to point out that this is the complete process that we can see here. It's the com uh, this is, this is what we can see that, and we will discuss it in detail. How the production of protein inside the cell. Then we will talk about the different type of vacuoles that existed between uh, uh, 
plant cells and animal cells, how they are large or called as a huge uh, vacuole cells in compared to the animal cells because of their function inside the plant cell, as you can see the difference between them in the plant cell and in the animal cell. Also, if you look into the figure, you can see that, that we have exten extensive network of uh, filaments in the cytoplan. It's called a cytoskeleton. Other microtubules also, they have uh, hollow structures made of protein known as tubulin. These found in many cells and play a cr critical role in maintaining cell shape, as you can see. Then the chloroplast, as we all know, we know that chloroplast found in the plant cell, not in the animal cell, and other types. Of course, mitochondria, it's the energy sources in, the, in any cells that need energy. It's carried out by the mitochondria and can only use it in a certain form. Also, we will talk about it. Then we will talk about the boundaries that hold the cell structure. This is for week three. We will see all.